welcome to the History Lord. You join me here today, I'm in Bayswater Road, I've just left Hyde Park and uh, I'm going to show you one of London's most secret places. It's actually behind this fence here and it's actually the Hyde Park Pet Cemetery. Now it was opened in 1881 by accident apparently, so here is its story. Welcome to London. The first of our furry companions to be laid to rest in this cemetery was a Maltese terrier called Cherry. Sadly, Cherry succumbed to the infirmities of old age. Cherry belonged to the children of a Mr. and Mrs. J. Lewis Barnd, who would visit Hyde Park quite regularly, and they befriended Mr. Winbridge, who was the gatekeeper. He often sold them ginger beer and lollipops. And when Cherry sadly died, they approached Mr. Winbridge to see if he could be laid to rest in the Victoria Lodge's back garden, a spot that he loved. Permission was granted, and today's tiny little tombstone stands bearing the inscription, Poor Cherry, died April the 28th, 1881. The idea of a pet cemetery soon caught on, and Prince was the next dog to be buried there, a Yorkshire Terrier, owned by the Duke of Cambridge. Sadly, Prince met his untimely end under the wheel of a carriage. By this time, Hyde Park had become the place for wealthy Londoners to lay their beloved pets to rest. There are quite a few little marble tombstones around. Uh, one says, Dear Impey, loving and loved. There's another that says, Darling Dolly, my sunbeam, my consolation, my joy. And they all tug at the heartstrings a little bit because who doesn't love their four-legged companion? It was a gatekeeper, Mr. Wimbridge, who usually performed the burial ceremonies himself, but rarely in the presence of any of the owners who were usually too overcome with grief to be able to face the last cruel parting. There is a story of the bereaved Lord Peter in about 1892, who sent his dog to be buried, promising he'll be there in the morning for the ceremony. Sadly, his lordship didn't survive the night and passed away in his sleep. By the time the cemetery officially closed in 1903, 300 graves were dotted in the back garden of the lodge. Now, sadly, Hyde Park's Pet Cemetery is not open to the general public, usually, but you can have a special viewing if you arrange it by contacting the Royal Parks themselves. Now, I'm not sure the cost, but I think each visit is around about £60 the last time I, I looked, and that does include VAT, and I think that's a group of up to six people. Alternatively, like we did, you can just walk on the Western Wall in Bayswater Road, passing Victoria Lodge and peering through the island railings. Not everyone had uh, any sentiment for this place. George Orwell once described it as the worst sentiments in Britain. But there you are. Thank you very much for watching. We do hope you enjoy these videos. And if you do, please hit subscribe. If you want to know when videos are uploaded, there's a notification bell just down below. And if you want to see what we do outside of these videos, please go to historylord.co.uk, see about the walking tour of London, or have a look down below and see about James's Last Line YouTube channel as well. Just let the police car go by. That reminds me, stay safe, thanks for watching, take care.